Hi, it's Ralph with the Daily Motivator message for Saturday, August 13th, 2016. The title of today's message is, If You Fail to Get Your Way. If you fail to get your way, don't let it get you down. Take what is, what has happened, what you have, and make the choice to move forward. It's great to set positive intentions and to make them happen. Yet, if a particular intention does not happen, it's not the end of the world. Disappointment reminds you of what you care about and helps you learn from what went wrong. Feel the disappointment, absorb its benefits, then let it go. There's nothing to be gained by extending your disappointment. There's nothing to be gained by feeling sorry for yourself or seeking the sympathy of others. Instead, transform disappointment into determination. Use the energy of that determination to be more effective at bringing your next intention to life. Disappointment is a powerful feeling. Whenever it comes along, choose to use its power in a positive way. Things are not always gonna go perfect for you. And the quicker you recover from that, the quicker you accept that, the quicker you get back to what you're doing, the better off you'll be. If you, you know, if you sit around feeling sorry for yourself, being angry about what happened, being disappointed, what's that gonna get you? Nothing. What's happened has happened already. And there's nothing you can do about the past, but what you can do is choose to let it inspire you. Choose to let it make you more determined. Yeah, you're disappointed. That's a legitimate feeling. And go ahead and feel it. Then transform it into something else. Take the energy of that disappointment and put it into determination. You can make things better by what you do. And when something goes wrong, well, you've just you've just made progress toward your eventual goal. You had to get through that at some time. You've already gotten through it now. So now you can learn from it. You can take the strength that it has given you. You can choose to absorb that strength and to use that strength in moving forward. It's, it's not, it doesn't feel good to be disappointed. It's, Frankly, it's disappointing. It's a negative feeling. However, you can transform it into positive energy. And that's the best thing to do. In fact, the more disappointed you feel, the more incentive you have to take that disappointment and do something good with it, right? Because when you've been disappointed about something, it it means you truly care. You know, if you weren't disappointed about an outcome, what's the alternative? It's just being apathetic, right? If you're not disappointed about when something negative happens, then then you didn't really care about it in the first place. And that's good to know too. But if you do care, if you feel that intense burning disappointment, realize that what you're feeling is how much you care, how much you love. How much you love the result that didn't happen. How much you love the possibility of things going right. And use the energy of that love, of that caring, to affect your actions, to affect your thoughts, to push you forward. When you've been disappointed, feel that disappointment, feel that disappointment, and then turn it around. Make something positive out of it. Get going and get yourself going faster than ever before. Thanks for joining me. Go to greatday.com for more daily motivator messages and uh, come back again uh, for another video. Thanks a lot, bye.